These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Foot Forward. Question, why does everyone keep saying we will only have a short time to exchange? Iraq is not going to sit around forever to wait for these notes to come in. They want to get them in as quickly as possible. I believe the rate will be good. All right, Jeff, article quote, Nazar Salih. Iraq is on the brink of economy recovery. He's the former number two man of the central bank. When the central bank talks, that's when you listen. I told you from when Iraq completed that borrowing law, they could change the rate at any time. They're walking you into the season of the rate change. The art This article confirms you're there. The rate change reduction, December 20th, what they revealed to you is they had a specific goal that had to be reached in a specific amount of time. That's why they had to do it on December 20th. They implemented a 90-day tool to reduce the note count in the country of Iraq to get the 3-0 notes out of circulation. They needed 90 days on that for it to be effective and get more than enough notes out of circulation. All right, and from Pimpy says something is definitely happening. March seems to be the month. What it is, I'm not 100% sure. I'm monitoring all the chatter amongst those who know and trying to get definite details that I can prove. All I know is there's a lot of scurrying going on and everything seems to be pointing towards the month of March. What it is, I don't know, and that's frustrating because even the people I rely on do that do know, even they don't know. They just know something is coming up. I'm not trying to get people overly hyped or really excited. What I'm trying to say is we have no idea what it is. It might be good, it might be bad. I'm trying to find out for you guys. All right, Frank 26. If you go to a bank exchange to exchange your dinars, when they convince you, would you like to deposit your capital gains in our bank? We have wealth managers who can advise you. We have we have May packages, many services. Would you like to do that? And you say to them, sure. Banks in the U.S., they insure you. It's called FDIC. That's the insurance to cover your money in case it's stolen, burnt, lost, or whatever it may be. The insurance for FDIC is only 250 k If you cashed out $1 million worth and you deposit it into their bank account, you want to ask them how much of my currency that I just put into your bank is insured. If you deposit a million, three quarters of a million will not be insured. You may say, so what? Trust me, you want to insure your money. Note, uh, speak to your financial advisors at the appropriate time to protect you and your family's financial future. Militiaman article quote, Parliamentary Finance explains that the reason for the delay in paying employees' salaries, unquote, quotes, salaries will not be delayed this month or the coming months and they are fully insured. The delay that accompanies the payment of salaries every month is borne by the accounting department at the Ministry of Finance for its reliance on old mechanism in banking transactions, unquote. It sure looks like there's a consensus consensus and that they know a new mechanism is coming into play. Modern is not in the old but new mechanism. Well, that to me suggests they're going to there to pay in a timely manner with a new rate mechanism in the future. And mechanism applied in such a manner that fully ensures payments will be on time, not delayed any longer. Thereby, we can deduce they have a digital system coming into play, probably one that will interlink with not only international transactions, but regionally and globally in my opinion I like it. All right, Foot Forward says I'm happy to exchange all my dinar for anything over three dollars fifty cents. Catch it because it's going to be going to be too fast. They make it sound like everyone caught a nine dollar rate on Kuwait dinar when in fact a very few of any actually caught that outside of Forex. Pimpy article quote Mazar Sali Iraq is on the brink of economic recovery yeah, just that quick. Magically, when we were seven weeks into the year, we went from having huge deficits to now we're already in the recovery. It's almost already close enough to start slowly but surely rising the value of the dinar to its true value. That's just my opinion. All right, Militiaman article quote, Al Advisor al Kazimi, Iraq is on the edges of economic recovery in two areas. It was also expressed in the white paper recently by the Council of Ministry Ministers by establishing a blueprint and an institutional ent entity for economic reform, which is the linchpin of this developmental sustainability. Looks like Iraq has been given the green light. 
I like the use of the word expressed. It means to me they have a mechanism that has an expression to it, as in an international way of expressing their mechanism or exchange rate to the world that is in the white paper recently. They'll need it as the cornerstone or foundation of the reconstruction effort, overall countries' reforms going forward, in my opinion. The game is about to kick off, in my opinion. Foot forward. A question, I thought the dinar must be sent to the U.S. Treasury for exchange, possibly 10-day turnaround to clear out accounts. Most likely, the banks will exchange a small amount into cash, maybe 10 k They have the ability to verify in-house. They won't give us tons of cash, but a 10-day turnaround. If they have to send everything to the U.S.T., what a nightmare. The Treasury will keep the dinar. I don't question that. The Treasury will be sending it back to the Central Bank of Iraq.